September 9, 2005. The storm pushed the Providence onto the reefs in the north of the island, and it took but several minutes to sink 20 meters to the bottom. I injured my leg in the wreck, and I only just managed to crawl to the edge of the forest. I'm sure I would have perished had the natives not found me. There are some 50 of them on the island, and the way they dress leads me to believe they are possibly descendants of a pre-Columbian culture, the Aztecs or the Mayas. Their village is located further south in the forest, but they let me accompany them. I am very eager to learn of the secret of this mysterious blue illuminations they used to light their village. When I arrived here, one of the natives applied a kind of poultice to my leg, which looked like their luminous product. My leg has felt much better since. I even managed to dive down in search of the Providence. For the time being, however, the currents make this impossible. I'll have to manage somehow. This island does not feature on any map. I have to retrieve my navigation instruments. How fantastic. It looks like a form of inexhaustible energy. Unimaginable. Not even in my wildest dreams. Even the natives don't realize the miracle in their midst. The light is actually a strange, thick, luminescent liquid which flows from a source at the top of the mountain and is channeled to the village via a network of bamboo ducks. To the touch, it is slightly warm. I have never seen the like. They call it Tau. Tau energy. Sounds magical, doesn't it? I finally reached the Providence, and with the equivalent of a rice bowl of this energy, I managed to spark its engine back to life. I'll be back home in several weeks. A rich man.
July 31st, 2009. The possibilities offered by the mathematical concepts described in the Hanapu Codex we discovered with Randall made my head spin. All my theories of the existence of a parallel universe have been confirmed by this discovery. Not only do parallel universes exist, but, what's more, I theoretically know how to access them. I am dumbstruck by the infinite perspectives that open up before us. The first issue to solve is the fact that the energy required to travel from one dimension to the next is a variable that tends to infinity. This means the equation cannot be solved. Tau energy, however, is the answer to our problems. We are due to start work on the first machine that can travel to parallel realities. August 25th, 2009. 
The Hunapus is a number system inherited from the ancient Mayas that is based on a vigesimal system composed of numbers from 1 to 19. Each figure is written with a combination of dots and lines. One dot represents a unit, and a line equals five units. To represent numbers above 19, the Mayas added another figure above the first. Ross Randall, Ethnologist.